everybody, it's Chris again. Welcome back to my channel. In today's episode, we are going to do Korean makeup. Now, this is very exciting to me because it's been a few years since I last did a Korean makeup tutorial. And a lot of the times when we think of Korean makeup, we think ombre gradient lips or white eyeliner under the eyes and of course the very iconic straight eyebrow but this time around i wanted to do a little bit of a more updated korean makeup look and so if you guys are interested in seeing that keep on watching As you know, in Korean makeup, we love to have a very clear, dewy, and healthy skin. So I've already prepped my skin with my skincare routine, but now before makeup, I'm just gonna go ahead and add this Burberry primer over here, and it is in the shade number one, Fresh Glow. So this is just gonna add a lot of radiance onto my face before I apply anything else onto it. So I'm just going to apply that onto my fingertips and apply that all over my face. So as you can see, my skin has this very luminescent effect to it and I feel like this is going to be perfect for our makeup look for today. So next, I'm gonna go in with my Cushion Compact Powder. Now this one is from NARS, it's not exactly a Korean brand, but I still think it gives the Korean skin effect because the color is very light and it applies very evenly and conceals all of the things that need to be concealed in this face. So I'm just going to use the sponge that it comes with and I'm going to dab all over my face, starting with the center and working my way outwards. Now in Korean makeup, I'm sure if you're morena, it's gonna be hard for you to find a color that matches your skin tone. But in Korean makeup, it's typical for you to get a shade lighter than your original skin tone because Koreans love very pale skin. And so if you're wondering why there are only two makeup shades, in, the, in their CC Cream collection, that's probably why. I'm gonna go over my eyelids as well, just so my skin tone is completely covered and even. I only applied one time, one pump into the sponge and spread it all over my face, so it still feels like skin and it doesn't look like you're really covering up your entire face. All right, now I'm going in with concealer and this time I'm using the Makeup Forever HD Concealer. This is in the shade... I am not sure what shade this is, but I'm gonna use it. And you guys, this is one of my favorite concealers of all time. I just discovered it recently, but it totally beats my Becca Tahini concealer, which I've been talking about forever. I really like this concealer because it's so light on the skin. It doesn't even feel like anything. The coverage is insane. It doesn't cake up during the day because it's so liquidy, which I absolutely love. So I'm just going to take this little brush over here. I'm going to spread that product all over my wrist and just apply it lightly on the areas that need a little bit more coverage. So under my eyes. I have this pimple that is coming up right over here. So I'm just going to cover that quickly with my concealer. Going over the other side to cover my eye bags over here. This big freckle over here. Now as you can see, I am really spreading this out so that the layer that I'm applying is very, very thin. I'm going to put a little bit on the sides of my nose with whatever's left on the brush. That way it doesn't cake or crease. And this concealer doesn't really do that, which is perfect. On the other side. And with whatever is left, I'm going to use that to conceal this part over here. And then just blend it out going down the bridge of my nose to give a soft and subtle highlight. All right, now that that's done, we are going to move into contour. Now, contrary to popular belief, in Korean makeup, you do a little bit of contour, but not like the very Latina, like Kim K kind of contour. It's just a little bit more for shadowing of the face. So I'm going in with my Sin Contour Palette, and I'm going to use these two shades over here. So using my Sigma brush, I'm going to mix these two shades. Tap out the excess and just lightly contour my cheeks and my chin area. Bring it up to my temples. 
and I'm stopping there. So it's a very, very soft and light contour. I'm gonna do the same onto the other side. Now when it comes to nose contouring, I'm going to take the same colors using a very fluffy brush over here. I'm going to roll my brush around the palette, tap out the excess, and I'm just going to lightly shade the sides of the nose and bring it up to the eye socket. That way, it looks a little bit more natural. And this is a trick that I learned in Korea when I was attending one of the makeup seminars over there. You get a little bit of contour, put it onto your fluffy brush and dust under your lips here so that your lips look like they're a little bit pouty. I even saw some Korean makeup gurus put a little bit of contour over here because it looks like your face is very small. All right, now I'm gonna go in with Lip and Cheek Tint, and today I'm gonna be using the BLK Cosmetics All Day Lip and Cheek Water Tint in the shade Cherry. Now, this is actually the first time I'm gonna be using this product, but it just got sent to me, and I'm very, very excited to try it out. So, this color looks like it's a bit of a bloody red. I'm going to apply it first onto my hand so that it doesn't shock me when I apply it onto my cheek. So this is what it looks like on my palm. I'm going to take a fluffy brush, and just take some of that product from my hand and apply it onto my cheeks in a soft dabbing motion. Now this is a trick that I like to do so that it doesn't apply super strong on the cheeks and then I won't have to like keep blending it out if it's too strong or if it's too pigmented. I'm blending it out first on my hand and then applying it onto my cheeks. And then this way you can just sort of build up the coverage as you go. I'm focusing the color here onto the highlights of my cheeks and then spreading it out upwards and outwards. I'm also going to run that across my nose for a more beach and flush look. Now this is very iconic in Korean makeup. We all know that Koreans love their straight eyebrows. It makes you look a little bit more youthful. So what you need to consider is their eyebrow hair color has to be lighter than the actual hair color that they have. I'm not exactly sure if I have brow products that are lighter than my actual color, but let me just try to recreate that look right now. I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, and this one is in the shade Caramel. My brows are very arch, so I'm praying that I can achieve this sort of straighter brow look. That doesn't look too bad. So now I'm gonna go in with a powder and I'm using this one by MAC called Brow Shader. I'm just going to shade in this outline that I've already drawn on. I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier Brow Dimension Fiber Infused Color Gel in the shade Brunette. Brush that all over. Alright, now that we have these brows on, we are going to move on to eyeshadow. I will be using the new BLK Cosmetics Intense Color Liquid Eyeshadow. And this is in the color Gorgeous. So what I'm going to do is apply this onto my finger first and then apply that onto my lids just so that I can sort of control the color that's coming out. And right off the bat, I can say that this is very, very pigmented because I literally swiped it onto my palm over here and then took a little color out and still, this came out really, really dark and beautifully colored. So a little bit goes a long way. I'm gonna do the same onto the other side. Now, you can stop and just use this one color for your eyeshadow. I think in Korean makeup, a lot of the looks that they do are very, very simple when it comes to eyeshadow. But I'm going to add a little bit more after this and just use this as a base color to warm up my lids. I will say that I really like how this applied. It applied very creamily, but it dried matte. And so I feel like this is going to last me the entire day. Now I can't seem to get into the Korean makeup look without adding a bit of glitter, so I'm going in with my e.l.f. Cosmetics Prism Eyeshadow Color Palette. I'm going to go in with this sort of orangey brown color, and I'm just gonna use my finger and go over the middle of this eyeshadow that we already have on our lids. 
And I'm just going to blend that out. Now going back in with the Sin palette, which is the palette that I use to lightly contour my face, I am going to apply this onto the bottom waterline. And then I'm going to take another brush into the lighter brown color. And I'm just going to sort of create that eye bag, happy bag, happy eyes look that the Koreans love. And then with a thinner brush, I'm going to go in with the darker brown color. And just sort of create a fake bag over here. All right, so now we are going to add a little bit of eyeliner. And I'm going to do this sort of diffused brown look. I'm going to go in with my Marc Jacobs pencil eyeliner, line my waterline, and then slightly extend it outwards, but following the natural shape of my eye, so that's going downwards. As you can see, I've extended it downwards over here. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to diffuse that brown so that you can't see where the line begins and where the line ends. Now I'm just gonna add a little bit of glitter into my inner corners over here. A lot of people think that in Korean makeup, you do white eyeliner from end to end, and that was a look that I feel like is very last season. So if you really wanna apply glitter, I would suggest sticking to the inner corners. Now this is just a lot more wearable. Now on top of that, I'm gonna go in with a powder. I'm gonna curl my lashes using this Shiseido Eyelash Curler. Using my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara, I'm going to apply a little coat. Now before we apply on lipstick, which is the final step to this look, I am going to add a little bit of cheek color. Now I feel like this look needs a little bit more of a peachy tone. So I'm going to use the BLK Creamy Cheek Paint in the color Peach. This is the first time that I'm going to be using this. So I'm going to apply it a little bit first onto my hand. And a good thing because look at that color, it's like neon orange. Now I'm going to use the same brush that I use for my cheeks and I'm just going to apply that here onto the apples of my cheeks. Wow, that is very, very, very pigmented. So I'm going to blend this out quite a lot. I only used a very, very small amount, but as you can see, my cheeks look very, very flushed, so I'm going to leave it at that. Last but not the least, I am going to apply some lipstick. Before, when I did my first Korean makeup video, I did like a concealer slash foundation all over my lips and then added a little bit of color on the insides and then blended it out because we wanted to achieve that sort of soft ombre look. But now I'm going to apply a color all over my lips first and then apply that same ombre because I feel like this is the more modern way of how you do Korean ombre lips. So I'm just going to go in with the BLK Cosmetics Matte Intense Matte Lipstick in the shade Beautiful. I'm going to blur out the edges using my finger. And then using the BLK Cosmetics Matte Lipstick in the shade Honey, I am going to apply a darker color into the inner part of my lips. And voila, this is the final look. What do you guys think?
I hope you guys enjoyed watching this little video of mine. A lot of the things that I did today are actually very familiar. They are what I do for my everyday makeup look. For example, um, this is usually how I apply eyeliner and this is usually how I apply my contour as well. I feel like this look isn't very new to me and I feel like a Korean style makeup really suits my features. Um, let me know what you think about Korean style makeup because I would love to know what you think. Let's keep the conversation going. If you enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!